Okay, now that I've flashed the Tune Boy Tune into the ECU, I can use the Tune Boy Trim software to make adjustments. The first thing I do is start the Tune Boy Trim software. I say allow access. This says reading map from ECU down the bottom. It will ask you if you want to replace the data in the ECU. The first time you should always reply no. And in this way, it will read the information from the ECU. So you see now the throttle position increments, or the RPM points have changed, the dimensions, to match the map that's in this bike, because the, it's a speed triple, it only goes up to 9,500 on the trim. Now the first thing that we should do is go to the options, and select set closed throttle. This comes up with a number down there, 136. So this is telling us the analog value for the closed th position on the on the throttle. Click OK. The next, the next step I need to do I need to turn the throttle open. It's a bit hard when I'm holding that one in my hands. Now go set full throttle. This comes up with a value there of 830. So click OK. Now the next step is to save the trim file. So I'm saving it into a folder for the spike. And I'll call it start. Now, some of the things that you can do in the Tuneboy Trim software, you can bring up a target screen. This will show you the air fuel ratio and the throttle position relative to the closest point in the map. As I turn the throttle, you'll see that the dot moves up, and then when it falls off, it runs off the top, it moves back onto the bottom. So if I move to the to hold it so it's right on that point, it's pretty much on the 80% throttle. So this is a lot easier than looking at the numbers themselves. get rid of the target screen. If I there's an air fuel target screen, if I go to this, this shows my desired air fuel values. And if I look at the air fuel ratio screen, this will show any measured values. I can clear this table by selecting it and then hitting the Z key which zeros the values.